If you find an unconscious person, they may be in cardiac arrest and you need to act now. Follow these simple steps. Check your surroundings to make sure it is safe for you to help. Call out to the person as you approach. Tap them to see if they respond. Check for a pulse and breathing. Call or direct someone to call for 911. Send someone for the AED. Start chest compressions. Sir, can you hear me? Sir, are you okay? You call 911. You get the AED. To start compressions, make sure the person is lying on their back and move them to the floor. Put the heel of your dominant hand on the center of the person's chest. Put your other hand over your dominant hand. Kneel close to the body and keep your arms straight. You want your strength to come from your large muscle groups like your hips instead of your arms so you don't tire as quickly and your compressions are effective. You need to compress at least two inches in depth. It is normal to hear popping and crunching as you break the coastal cartilage to depress the breastbone. The person does not have a pulse and is clinically dead and unable to feel pain. Breaking of the cartilage has to happen to be able to compress the chest deep enough to replace the heart's mechanical pumping with compressions. Push hard and fast. You should aim to push down on the chest two times a second to achieve 100 to 120 compressions a minute. The heart is responsible for pumping oxygenated blood throughout the body. Every cell in the body requires a constant oxygen supply, especially the heart, lungs, and brain. Just six to eight minutes without oxygen will likely result in brain damage or death. During compressions, the blood is ejected from the heart and circulates oxygen to the body. It also forces air out of the lungs. During decompression, the ventricles of the heart fill with blood to be ready for the next compression, pulls air into the lungs to help oxygenate the blood, and more importantly, provides the heart with its oxygen supply. It is essential to make sure you compress at least two inches and allow for full chest recoil and compress at least 100 to 120 times a minute. You do not need to perform mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathing for an adult or teen victim. Hands only CPR and the use of an AED will significantly improve the survival rate for the victim. The AED or automated external defibrillator is the only thing that will shock the victim's heart back into a normal rhythm. And when the AED arrives, the first step is to turn it on and follow the voice guided instructions. The AED may say no shock advised. This means that the heart is not in a shockable rhythm. It does not mean to stop CPR. Unit turned on. Stay calm. Check responsiveness. Call for help. Attach defibrillator pads to patient's chest. Don't touch patient. Analyzing. Don't touch patient. Analyzing. Shock advised. Don't touch patient. Press shock button. Shock delivered. Start CPR. Many times it can take 5 to 10 minutes for EMS to arrive. Continue chest compressions and switch compressors every 2 minutes to prevent tiring and ensure compressions remain effective. Continue to perform hands-only CPR 
and follow the AED voice guided instructions or instructions from the 911 dispatcher until help arrives. Become a hero in your community and learn CPR today.